Jury deliberations have resumed in the Delphi murder trial. Jurors will need to decide whether Richard Allen is guilty of killing two teenage girls on a bridge nearly eight years ago. Marissa Perlman is in our newsroom with more on today's deliberations. Marissa. Good morning to you both. Day four of deliberations opens with no verdict as of yet. Since Thursday, this jury has debated for more than 17 hours now, sequestered, unable to access their phones, computers, or families. That is until a decision is made. Saturday session lasted four and a half hours alone, and the jury took another look at videos that have been entered into evidence, including police interviews of Richard Allen from 2022. Now, Allen has pleaded not guilty to two murder and two felony murder charges connected to the 2017 killings of Liberty German and Abigail Williams here, 14 and 13 years old. The tragic details of this case now all too familiar to us. The teens went for a hike during a day off of school on February 13th when they didn't show up at their meeting spot that day. Volunteers from the community signed up to help search for them. Their bodies were sadly found the very next day. Carroll County prosecutors have painted the picture. Allen is the man seen in this grainy cell phone video found on one of the girl's cell phones. They've also pointed to Allen's repeated confessions of the killings in person on the phone and in writing. But the defense points to holes in the prosecution's case, saying Allen was having a psychotic break when he admitted to the killings after spending months in solitary confinement. They also argue there's no physical evidence tying Allen to the murders, no fingerprints, no DNA either. For nearly eight years, Libby and Abby's family and this small town of Delphi have waited for answers on what happened and who's responsible. That could come as early as today. Allen could face up to 130 years in prison if convicted. Live in the newsroom, Marissa Perlman, CBS News Chicago. Marissa, thank you.